It's so grand. Sure, because they're trying too hard. You don't have to be like that. Hmm? Did you say something? Oh, uh, no, nothing. Your audience with the Praetor is scheduled for tomorrow. Before that, maybe you'd all like to have a look around? See the sights of Indol? Sounds like a pretty rare opportunity. Yeah! Let's look around city! Tora want to see everything! What are we, tourists? There's no harm in that, is there? This would be a first for me, too. Right. You were a bit big to go running around Indol before now. Oh, that's a funny image. Mm. I'm so angry. <laughs> so angry. <laughs> Buster Battalion, reporting back. Okay. Safely. Let's get everything back in order. You're not gonna abandon me again, are you, Morag? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, probably doesn't hurt that I haven't really upgraded the weapons on a lot of my guys for a while. And they can go up a significant amount currently. My oh my. Protest against blade policies. Huh. Okay. People are protesting that refugees are being are being kept alive essentially without a uh, having to just straight up be slaves for it. That's uh interesting. The world would be better off if we didn't have blades. Wait, you've got blades! Oh have you know my family was killed by Ardanian blades. Every blade and all rest is controlled by Indol. So really it's Indol that's responsible for all this. Making amends by letting refugees? Well, I'm sorry, that's a little too... That's too little too late. We drain them dry. <laughs> Seems like both sides really think very highly of each other. Control the blades, though. Hmm. We found! Congratulations! Hmm. Because the thing about... Oh. Hmm. Do they control it, or is it just a religious belief that there's... That ex tries to explain blades and whatnot. No more blades, no more war. What does that mean? That, my fuzzy eared friend, is an anti blade protest. The refugees have really been going at it since last year or so. Okay, um. Throw you back in the sea. Oh, where'd you come from? What do you do? Swim here? Did Blades do something wrong? The Praetorium is single-handedly responsible for doling out core crystals to other countries. Though sometimes the likes of Dougal and Banna grab a piece of the pie. Therefore, Indol has the power to control war itself? That's one way of looking at it, at least. Disagree? War's gonna happen one way or another? Just because you have a different weapon doesn't mean that you're gonna... Getting rid of the weapons won't make war go away. It'll just mean war is fought in a different fashion. That's my general opinion on it. But war is about much more than just blades and drivers. I know that. And you know that. But that doesn't mean they're gonna accept it. I guess so. There's a lot of... Gormotti here. They fled the Gormotti War ten years ago. But here they are, refugees still. It's a long time. Yes, they're a funny old lot, you know. We feed them, we water them, and this is the thanks we get. Don't these ruffians know that manners cost nothing? I swear, you lend these people a hand and they want the whole bloody arm. It's easy to disregard things beyond your control. And direct your anger at targets closer to hand. Sort of like what uh, Zeke Boy there is doing, eh? Hmm. Do you have something to say? Not really. Out with it, Rex. 
more ordains Titan. It's dying, and everybody knows it. That's why they... why you need Gormot. Our population is large. Larger than Uriah's. But you don't have the resources to support all those people. You are astute for someone so young. Us salvagers pick up more than just artefacts. I'm not daft. I know fine words alone won't change reality. So you seek Elysium? Is that wrong? No. I was just reminded how young you are. Still, if it's Rex, or people who harp on about justice with no solutions, I'm betting on Rex. I must admit, I do respect the boy's drive. Ah, I'm just stumbling my way forward. Again, I fully expect us to find absolutely nothing if we ever get up top there. Something destroyed, something desolate, something completely incapable of doing essentially what we're saying we want to do. So... Yeah. I guess thematically you might be able to take another approach through speculation on the idea of Elysium and the war stuff that's been... Yeah, a little heavy-handed. Morag, can I ask you something? Go ahead. Rex is the one who woke up Mithra. And I think he appreciates what that means. And? It's just that, well, you're not doing anything to stop us. Why is that? Because of Adam. <laughs> hmm? Five hundred years ago, he became this great hero who we celebrate even today. But I know him only through legends. A chance to see what his blade is capable of for myself? I confess, I was intrigued. So here I am. You know I'm not Adam, right? But... You are the Aegis's driver. The second you're under Imperial control, you won't be that hero anymore. Hmm. Huh. I'm not sure I follow. So ba basically she's saying that uh, she wants to see what the Aegis can do, but if he's basically regulated, he won't even have that chance anymore. So she's just being in basically a uh, representative of the Empire rather than someone coming to take control of that power for themselves. People with great power should be their own masters. Is that what you mean? Close enough. You can interpret it that way if you like. <laughs> Even the mighty Flamebringer can be bloody hard work sometimes. Can't you just admit the real reason? I don't like what you're implying. Is the implication that if she tried to take him in, she couldn't? <laughs> the inner praetorium is beyond this gate. Here you will find the main administrative facilities. With your permission, I'll show you to your lodgings. What if I say no? What if I refuse to stay in the same room as Thunder, Thunder Boy there? Ah, uh, this is Seoris Plaza. Wow, it's pretty huge. Busy, too. I dare say many people gather here on religious, uh, religious pilgrimage. I dare say many people gather here on religious pilgrimages. Precisely correct. Many people arrive in Indo with each coming day. And the building you see ahead is the Indoline Sanctum. Impressive, isn't the half of it? Uh, okay, let's give you a proper voice to match your voice. How do you like it, eh? Really makes you appreciate the majesty of the Praetorium, right? What did you say you were the prince of again? I don't remember. You're acting like you're from this place at the very least, but I thought... You don't... Mm, I mean, in my opinion, I don't want to think about it anymore. What do you get off sounding so proud, Shouthead? It's magnificent. Truly magnificent. Rooms have been made, uh, 
ready for you. You'll find them to the left as you enter the sanctum. We get to stay in Big Fancy Building. You're all our honored guests here, after all. Quite amazing! Now then, shall we go? Sure. It's amazing when the day just changes in the middle of a cutscene. And you come out it's like, oh no, where are we? Hey, look what I found! Congratulations! Creation Cloister. Intriguing it's creation the dawn of a new cloister. Day. Let me read you the agenda hmm. for today. Uh, Lady Fan told us you'd be coming. You must have endured great hardship on your journey. Please feel free, uh, free to use the chambers we've prepared for you. I don't see any reason why not for now. Your audience with the Praetor is scheduled for tomorrow in the Sanctum's audience chamber. If there is nothing else, I shall take my leave. Okay. Thanks for all your help. My pleasure. Good night. Night. So, Zeke's still here. <laughs> it's not like he's joined my party at this point. Hey, Pyra. So, Adam, what kind of a person was he? Should I ask Mithra? No, no, it's fine. I was just wondering. Were you around at that time? Or is this something after? He was incredible. Incredible? In Mithra's memories, I mean. I knew him only very briefly before I went to sleep. So he's still around? But that Mithra point? can't remember a more genuine, courageous person. She had never met a more wonderful man. He sounds like a real hero. Mm-hmm. And you remind her of him a lot. Oh, I do, do I? Great. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I suppose Mithra won't be very pleased I told you that. Pyra, come on. I agree with her, you know. <laughs> Subtle. Hmm. Oof, it's cold this morning. Miss Fan. Has somebody got a little crush? Nia, what are you doing here? Early riser. Always have been. You're way late on the crush part. Oh, I see how it is, you. I wonder what Pyra and Mithra would think. Hey, no! You got the wrong... Just... Just what? Go on. I don't know. I thought she looked... sad. Oh, good morning, you two. There's still some time before your audience. Sorry, we just woke up really early. Ah, I see. That's a pretty nice mural. Very... grand. It depicts the creation of Allrest. They say this mural was painted long ago, when the nation of Indol was still new. Oh, you've been looking at it for a while? They're missing. What do you mean by they? My memories. I know that I must have been around since this mural was first painted, or even earlier, but I don't remember that time at all. Well, you had a blade. I don't know who I was, or what I did. And I'd really like to. Mithra's lived for an awful long time. Maybe she'll know something about you. Mithra called me... Haze earlier. Could it be possible that she met me somewhere before? Sometime in the past? Do you want to ask her later? Could I? Thank you very much. No, no need to thank me. You helped us too. Look at you going all red. I'll tell Pyra, I swear. What? I told you it's not like that. 
We'll see. <laughs> Pyra gets to make that decision. Also... Hey, relax. You'll give yourself wrinkles. A driver and blade are one in body and soul. It was you who told me that. Well, the other you, I mean. You mean Mithra? Of course. It was 500 years ago, so perhaps you have forgotten. Who? Oh, I do remember saying that. Wait, what? So it's true? But how could she possibly remember? You're wondering how I could remember words from so long ago? Lifetimes ago. That's where my... Oh, did you keep a diary? What's this? You could call it a diary, I suppose. It contains details about my past lives. It's the only way I have to remember. You managed to hold on to it all the time. When we return to the core crystal, our minds are wiped clean of all memories. Though a blade's life is eternal, our effective lifespans as individuals are far shorter than a human's. You know, it's not just me. A lot of blades try to preserve their memories in journals like this one. Even though it's often futile. After all, a core crystal cannot protect a diary. Usually, the volume is lost to us, along with our memories. I'm fortunate amongst blades. I'm passed down as an imperial treasure and recorded in official chronicles. Uh, Bridget? I would explain it. I don't know where your true intentions lie. I can only make an educated guess. But Rex, he is your driver. If you truly trust him, I would advise you tell him everything. Please do. If you can't do that even for him, you shouldn't be his blade at all. I just... <sighs> if you care about him, it's even more important. I know what it's like to be afraid of rejection. I really do. But if you don't tell him now, you're just storing up pain for later, not making it easier. The way you say that, you really do see right through me. Well, we go back a long way, as you recall. And we're both blades, after all. When they first met with Mithra, she said something about fighting her, too. So presumably they were on other sides of a conflict, too. So, it's almost time. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to get a bit nervous. Be careful not to say anything disrespectful. Hey, old man! <laughs> I know, I know. The audience chambers just across the courtyard will be there in a jiffy. Well, we can hardly keep the Praetor himself waiting. Shall we head down? No, I suppose. Hey, us again. <laughs> uh. The guy in physical defense up one or three. Times one. Well, that worked well. I was only really coming over here to look at this, though. That is ha! intriguing. Hmm. Looks like the whale one. And it looks like the Titan for... Indo. No, not Indo. What was, like, the first one? The first one that was like a four-legged one. Maybe it's different, but one looks like a Pegasus there. A hog. I assume those are supposed to be Titans. With a world that is burning? Intriguing. Cloud sky. Maybe it's more like smog. Maybe there's like a constant fire that's constantly producing the uh, smog to an extent. That's creating the actual uh, cloud sky. I mean, here's the thing about a cloud sky. It has to be dense enough to basically fall to the ground. That's a big part of why it can even exist in the, like, at all, right? 
Hmm. Hmm. So that's another thought. If a fan thinks that she's been around long enough to... That she has to have remembered that or have been around for when that happened. And we think Mithra is capable of uh, answering those questions. Then doesn't that imply... It happened during the 500 years ago stuff? Rather than... Long before that. Hmm. What was that? I also never got a good look at, uh... What Indo was on. Titan-wise. Uh, Father waits above. Presumably referring to the same thing that, uh... Hyra and what's-his-face were referring to. When they said Father. I assume this architect sort of, uh, entity. Or whoever developed into the mythos of this architect entity. So if he saw the mural, then took them, and also ran away, there would at least be some partial implication that, uh, he stole it. Either it, it was dangerous in some capacity, either because he stole them and there was actually a civilization there, or maybe it was, like, monster infested or something else like that. But yeah, it does imply. I wonder if they'd have any memories from... If the Aegises are different in that regard. Praetor. Praetor Amaltus. There's also the question. The boy has arrived, your eminence. If we have a species that is so long-lived... Thank you. ...that his pure lifespan can go this long, why do we have questions of, like, what happened back then? Why is it a mythos when you have people that that's, like, literally still their lifespan? So you're Rex. I've heard much. Hi, uh... You're not... the Praetor, are you? Huh? No way. Indeed. I am Amalthus. I understand your surprise. I imagine you expected somebody older. We heard that you were Cole's driver. Your, your eminence. Sorry, sorry. No need for formalities. I am a mere representative of the Praetorium. The name Praetor is simply a decoration, if you will. In any case... We're the same, you and I. Aegis drivers. I consider us equals. <laughs> I feel a bit better now you've put it that way. Your eminence. Are, are, are we not going to put one and one together and realize that is an Aegis driver, that also means that he's the one Mithra was fighting against in her story? You're different somehow. I seem to recall a more forceful personality. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. Itchy trigger fingers. I got this. 
From Cole. He said it belonged to you. Please. Ah, oh, Cole. That brings back memories. And uh, another thought. It also implies that if Cole's his blade, he was potentially involved in the flesh eater sort of thing, yeah? Or sorry, what did they call them? Flesh eaters? I think that was the name. Flesh something. Maybe complicit? We're looking for a way to Elysium. Cole told us that you would know the way. I have to get to Elysium. To, to save all rest, any way I can. I mean, we won't know for sure what we can do until we get there, I suppose. But if the stories are true, it's somewhere we can all live safely. It has to be real. Long ago, too long ago, I used to think like you. Indeed, it led me to climb the world tree. Huh. However, I did not find Elysium or the architect. I believe it was because I was unworthy. What makes someone worthy? Rex, I know your desire all too well. I shall help you on your quest. Really? Oh, thank you so much. No need for thanks. This may be my destiny. Did we hear him say that out loud? Or was that some... Like, I, I don't think we heard Malos, his name is, right? I don't think we heard him saying that. I'm guessing that was... Not what we were seeing in terms of Rex and them, but did he still say all that out loud from just this guy's, uh, I actually don't know his name, uh, <laughs> this guy saying it out loud? That's unclear. The reason I've lived all these years, and now... Pyra. My name is Pyra. I would be honored to have a moment alone with Pyra. I'd like to reminisce a little. If you try anything, I'll feel it. Actually, if we both feel the same, like, pain and stuff... So old man Cole really did know the Praetor. Who'd have thought? World is small place. Wait. So if they feel each other's pain, is it just pain or is it other sensations? Like... <laughs> Uh, uh, all, all children in the room, please. <laughs> Sex. <laughs> Which can technically hurt. <laughs> Either side, even. Uh, at times, right? So, um, <laughs> w w w would they feel that? Not necessarily even with each other. But... <laughs> Oh, my mind's going in weird directions. I probably shouldn't record for too much more today. <laughs> Will Pyra be okay by herself? He's a Praetor, dimwit. What's he gonna do, eat her? And he's totally gonna eat her. Back there, I felt something weird for a second. What? Um... Rex? It felt... Like we were talking to that Malos guy. You're imagining things. You know he's Malos' driver and it's messing with your head. They not seem alike to me. No, I know. It was just for an instant. Just this one moment where I couldn't tell if we were talking to the Praetor or Malos. Sorry, I'm not explaining it well. There are blades who are influenced a lot by their drivers during resonance. Their appearance, their personality. That's probably all it is. Perhaps it was due to your bond with Pyra. That could have heightened your perception of such things. Well, I'd say maybe it's like a leaking memory, but does that, does that work? 
We haven't seen anything to suggest that there are shared memories in any capacity. It was painted 1,500 years ago. Okay. Even through exposure to the elements, it has never needed repair, always as pristine as the day it was made. That's weird. The technique is long forgotten. I often wonder if we are growing as a people, or in fact, regressing. What do you think? Well, I'm just amazed at how little you've changed. Has nobody ever wondered about that? I am Indoline, and the driver of an Aegis. It keeps me young. Why would it do that? If you say so. Why do this now, though? You've never let anyone go there before, have you? Times change, Mithra. So do people. That's not an answer. I would like to believe there is one who can reach the Architect and save this dying world. Is that really so strange? And Rex is the one. Would you have resonated with him if he did not hold such potential? I still get the impression that it was a desperate hope. A last sort of grasp at a, a fleeting dream that seemed to be slipping from her grasp. Sorry to keep uh, you waiting, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, how was it, Pyra? Mostly he was just talking with Mithra. Ah, uh, they knew each other before, right? Yes. Honored guest. Oh, fun. You must be tired after today's events. Please rest here for another night. She may have a point. All we really did was talk to Brato Amethyst, but I feel quite worn. Let's take them up on the offer. Nah, sounds like a good plan. Do not object. Want to sleep on Fluffy Puffy Pet every night? Then let's return to the Sanctum. Hmm. Well, Mithra sounded very unconvinced that, uh, <laughs> that the Aegis stuff would keep, uh, him young. But she's still around. So. Hmm. I wonder if Rex isn't actually resonated with Pyra. I wonder if the shared life force is a bigger connection that they share that allows it to happen like their blade and driver. Something. So I guess, the, okay, the train of thought there I sort of skipped over. Like, ooh, maybe the reason she's still around or has still been around is Adam's still alive, which honestly I'd be shocked if he wasn't considering the information they provided on the subject. Um, and maybe the Aegis stuff really is keeping him young. But if that's the case, could a Blade have multiple drivers? Which I've not seen anything to indicate so, which then the thought came to, maybe there's another way where he's actually technically her driver or something like that. Or maybe it's uh, feasible that he could be Pyra's driver but not Mithra's? And their connection allows him to use both, but at the same time, Adam's technically resonated with Mithra and Rex with Pyra. Just a thought. Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, there's this whole big thing here. Just given his design, I wouldn't be surprised if he's a blade himself. Still intact after all these centuries. Amazing. See? Red. Pinnacle of flesh eater technology. Tenacious creatures, humans. Hey, look, he's not referring to himself as a human. I'm so sorry to do this to you.
Also, if she's still alive in some capacity, why did Fan get a new driver? Wait. I see. Very well. Feels like things aren't adding up. Hmm. It appears Senator Roderick paid a visit to the Praetorium last night, off the record. Did you know that? No. I haven't heard anything from His Majesty. Why now, I wonder? I can't imagine he was just paying his respects. Do you think it's something to do with the excavation? Temperantia? Hmm. The issue His Majesty mentioned. If that is the case, he must be making covert deals with the Praetorium. Crush that man! To get more blades and build up a bigger army in secret. Why do they control all the core crystals? We haven't gotten that explanation either. I get like religious leads and whatnot, but did like everyone give up the core crystals to them at some point? And that's why they have them? It seems like they'd be spread pretty far and wide. If they were handed out. People wouldn't just, like, return it to them. Hmm. Oh, that's destructive. all that energy coming from sincere apologies everyone but I come with an urgent request please go to the audience chamber at once well it looks like we're getting into something a bit more significant so that's probably a good place for me to end it for at least today hmm Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. I don't know if I directly mention it, but that mural doesn't seem to have any Cloud C, which is relevant. 1,500 years ago, though, eh? Hmm. How does he know that? Was he around from that time, maybe? Rather than just 500 years ago? 1,000 years to become frustrated enough to go and try to climb the tree? Hmm. Okay, well, that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Still, we're going ahead, so... I don't know how far ahead I'm going to be at any given time, so I'm just gonna, you know, record and speculate and do my own thing. I think I'm at a point where I don't really need to, need to worry about gameplay in that sense, too, so... Yeah. I'll see you all next time. Drive safely, everyone. And hello, and welcome back to me playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2 just sort of whenever and recording well ahead. So, apparently there's some kind of emergency to attend to. I'm not really sure how well we're going to do against the big old buddy over there. Is that in the area, or do we need to travel somewhere, maybe? I suppose that's another question to ask. Hey... Thanks for waking us up in the middle of the night. As you may know, there is a demilitarized zone between Morardane and Uriah. Temperantia. Think of it as a buffer between the two nations. What? What? Wait, what? Aren't they literally moving titans that can go wherever? How is there a buffer zone between them? We've received word of fighting in the area. Morardane are in possession of a titan weapon. They're advancing as we speak towards the Orion garrison. Impossible! Well, the two countries' titans are at their closest right now. You're saying we were waiting for a chance to strike? Unthinkable! Our people would never go to war against His Majesty's will. At any rate, we must investigate. Yes, you're right. Praetor, I beg your leave. We need to find out what's going on. Your Eminence. Thank you. Your Eminence, we... 
Might I ask you to assist Special Inquisitor Morag in her investigation? We have no reason to refuse, and you needn't worry about me. I am quite grateful to hear that. Let's go after them! Hurry! Oh boy. Okay, well... <laughs> It's like, no, don't leave my party. No, don't leave my party again. Stop doing that. God damn it. God damn it, Morag. You keep doing this. <laughs> no. Who? Who's responsible for this? Preparations are still ongoing. If we attack now, we could... What have you done, Senator Roderick? Special Inquisitor, what are you doing here? Answer the damn question. The Emperor ordered that the dig be halted. He was very specific, Senator. If you've restarted it, you have violated His Majesty's will. The Emperor doesn't understand Moradain's urgent lack of resources. So you're admitting to it? This is for the Empire. You're admitting to Your it. Your patriotism is touching. But that doesn't explain why you're waging war with Uriah! It wasn't me. I did not give that order. Even I would never dream of declaring war without His Majesty's express consent. So who in the... Morag! Who? Who are these people? Busting in here. Oh, fuck off. This is the driver of the Aegis. You are to afford him the same respect as me. This is him? I heard the rumors, but this boy? There are rumors now? Wow. Am I really that famous? No, I think she's famous. Do you have any idea how much it costs to repair a water tower? It's a lot. <laughs> That's... So less famous, more infamous. That can't be. Morag? Is Morardane really attacking? They are, as much as I hate to admit it. Tell me, what's going on? I would love to know, too. Tricky indeed. If this escalates into all-out war... The timing is all wrong. We can't win this fight. Not now. Sounds like you were planning to start this sooner or later, sly rat. Maybe save the accusations for now. But the Empire never really wanted a war, did it? That core crystal. Don't tell me you're the... Answer me! We've been over this, my goodness. Y you're right. Mithra? Is it posturing? Who stands to gain from an Ardanian-Orion war? Who gains... You don't mean... Jin and Torna. It's very possible. That seems like a bit of a jump in logic. What do you mean? How do they gain from it in your mind? But how? Maybe just coincidence after all? Master Pawn. I, I, I feel like the how should have been the beginning of this logic, but okay. I wish I could believe that. Inquisitor Morak, please. You are the only one who can put a stop to this. It's a bit late for that. Don't you think? But I'm not going to sit back and watch. Bridget? Right. Morag. Rex, this is an Imperial matter. We can't ask for your aid in this affair. Then don't ask. Not if it's really a coincidence, like Tora said. But if Toner are really involved, doesn't that make this our problem too? But think of it as compensation for the water tower. How's that? <laughs> I knew you'd go there. <laughs> You're so noble, it hurts. Very well. Can I ask you to help me again? Yep, we're on the case. Yes, of course. I'll accompany you. Fam? What's happening in Temperantia right now? It's being led by a weaponized Titan, correct? My power doesn't only affect Blades. It also works against Titans. 
I am certain I can be of assistance. I implying something very similar happening between the two power sources. Also, it works against Titans. How? Aren't Titans just big things? Like, that's not like they're manipulating the ether, right? I, I know, like, this one looked like it was, but in general, Titans just look like they're big, right? Big, strong. Besides. Besides? I have the strangest feeling that I'm somehow meant to be there. Hmm. Fan Lenorn. You. Hmm. Interesting. So how do we get to Temperantia? If Senator Rodericks is here, I assume there must be an Ardanian military vessel stationed at the port. Then we go to port and get to Ardanian Titan battleship. Alright then, there's no time to waste, let's go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Gladly. The mission was a success. Sitting here trying to justify it. Ah. Hey, remind me again why we're bringing this spanner. Ha! <laughs> because this sounds like fun. No. We're not on holiday. I've heard a lot about these Torna people. They're the ones collecting core crystals, yeah? And besides, I can't pretend this doesn't concern us too. Not when they're calling themselves Torna. Hmm. <laughs> Shall I? You could be a bit more. Ah, uh, okay. He finally actually does something. Okay. Um. Do I want to use him? Do I actually want to use him? There's the question. <laughs> well, for now, I actually feel as though... That actually is significantly filled up, isn't it? Yeah, there isn't really room for anyone else here. I was thinking, like, um, if, if uh, the next party member I get... Because it felt like there's at least going to be one more, yeah? If not more than that. Uh, I was just going to burn through the uh, core crystals at that point. And then I have enough overdrive protocols that if I get another party member I want to use, I could probably work with it then. So, how about we do that? Before we go do anything else. In this dire situation, let's just spend a bunch of time pulling core crystals. Uh, hey, guy... You want some of these? Is this, uh... Yeah, that's not... Anymore. Here, yeah, I I'm gonna do the same idea with Morag where I go through... Quite a few of these, then, um... Uh, then use these based on how many he gets. Probably one. I can't use Vess's now, so... I wonder if there's a requirement for that. Or if it really is just time, maybe. Hmm. Uh, but... Let's go. Oh my god, he has a unique little fucking thing. Oh my goodness, of course he does. Of course he does. Oh, that was fast? I am Perun. Boing a boing a boing. I swear this. I will uphold virtue wherever our path leads us. Is she Wait, is she did she just do like a little stripper dance? Now, let us attend. Boing a boing a boing a virtue indeed. Da 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 da. <laughs> okay, cool. That uh, that came quickly. 
I could probably put Poppy Buster on him too. I don't know, actually. So what's his uh Pandoria? She I like her more than Zeke. I gotta be honest. I like her like significantly more than Zeke. So attack, yeah, that makes sense. Also attack. Don't let me get rusty. Uh, so I guess it would make sense in my head if I had two attackers and a healer for him, if he's gonna be attack driven. The very least. Nope. Nada. 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 That's five of those. Here, let's do five common ones. Nada. 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 Wait, what? No, I'm out of space, I guess. I guess I am legitimately actually out of space. Where does it say how much space I have? There's two more slots here. What? Bullshit. <laughs> Whatever. Well, I could just drop all the one star ones. Bar Suzu. Oh, I'm keeping Suzu around to the damn end. Suzu's the first one. Well, the first one I used at the very least. So. Uh, yeah, what happens if I release one? What? What do you mean I can't release this blade? Wait. Wait, what do you mean I can't release this blade? What? I'm not... It's not equipped or... What? I'm so confused. It's not like it's on a merc mission. What? I'm so confused. Uh, well, okay, I'll just go down the list after that I then, I guess. Expect this. Yep, sorry, buddy. Oh, I get boosters from... Uh, dropping them, eh? Okay. Is that how it works? I'll see you around sometime. Okay, well, I guess I'll go through the one-star ones at the very least. Not necessarily good or bad, but... Farewell. I need room. <laughs> Basically. Hey, hey. Okay, I ended cold. up. Uh, I ended up keeping around some of the uh, animal ones too, because I don't think I have. No, I do have at least one higher uh, rarity one. No, Riku or Yagu. I Riku sounds like the Kingdom Hearts character, so sure. So here it ends. I think I'll never sometimes I've you. needed. Sometimes I've needed two of them, basically. I assume that was the thing that was stopping me from resonating more. I assume, I assume, I assume. So, yeah, it, it's letting me do it now, so. Okay. I very much assume I'm not going to get much out of this <laughs> until I go try uh, start trying to do the legendary ones again. They seem to give me my best luck. And I think that really is the bigger thing in terms of getting them. Yep. I, I don't think I've gotten one rare one on a common. I don't think I've gotten one rare blade on a common this entire time, so. And still not. Nah. Okay. Go through five of the legendary ones. start seeing, uh, when I feel like I get, like, four on him or something like that, I think that's the point. I'll start getting all my, uh, blades on everyone else and burn through the rest of these. Nope. Well, that actually looked a bit different. Gorg. It is a great honor to have met you. Okay. I pledge the whole of my power to you. <laughs> okay. Um, interesting. Not really sure what to make of it. 
this point? Sure, set it. Not a. Not a. It, 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 it sort of like stayed on that one for a second though, where it was like taking longer to load. It's like, <gasps> no, <laughs> disappointing. Uh, not a. Okay, well, I've gone through five of each of these. He has three, so I figure I'll do one of these now. Beastly or... Brilliant. What am I more curious about? This one, I feel like I... Somewhat, like some Nopon ate it? <laughs> I, I think that was the story when we got it. Like, he ate it and he just gave it to us. He ate it for, like, safekeeping and then he gave it to us. And... Something stupid. I remember it being stupid. Uh, and this one is the one... This was either from the Titan, or it was from... Or it was the one that the spider dropped. It was unclear, at the very least. I guess I'm more curious about that. If it's the one the spider had with it, or if it's the one that, uh... Or if it's, like, something brand new. So, well, that looked big. Oh! Is that what the one? I mean, it looks more insect like. I am Wolfric! Try them! Use my power! Crush your foe! No problem. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, I think this is the one the spider was using. Not like the one that came from the Titan that died. That's fine. Don't really want to set it the all. I have two other attacking ones already. Okay. Well, again, I sort of want to burn through a bunch of these, so... He still, he still only has attack ones, though. I'm going to go th uh, put a few more on him, I guess. I guess I could also use Poppy Buster on him if I really wanted to, but that's tank. I, I, I like having one healer on everyone at the very least. It's uh nice, I guess. I'm not sure if there's a better way to phrase it. Not a I do not expect to get anything from the common ones. I haven't gotten any from them, so. But I might as well use that chance at the very least, yeah? Small as it may be. Yeah, that didn't look like anything special. Not a... I wonder if the ones that are flashing, even the ones that aren't really it, are still, like, available ones? Or could have I, like, already acquired them? Oh, that's like a... Gourmati looking one. Huh. That's weird. Well, <laughs> I'm starting to run out. You know, I got a tank and an attacker from these so far. So I wonder if this might be a healer. I guess I'm just going to take that chance at this point. Again, I have the overdrive part uh, protocols if I really want to move someone between guys. Like wide shoulders. Crossets, the name, guys. 
I won't let you down. This is so exciting. Ah! Wait, Chris. Well, she already feels like she me. <laughs> that is a lot of fireworks. She already feels like she like matches Zeke's personality. Oh, and healer. Okay, cool. Cool. Yes. Let's make that a thing then. Critical hit rate. Oh, okay. Interesting. She already feels like she's fumbling enough to ma match Zeke's personality. So. Sure, basically. I can get behind that. <sighs> Do I want to go through the process of doing every single one of these other ones? I think I have as much... If I want... Okay, so, okay, here's a thought. Do I want to use them? I don't know at this point. I honestly don't know if I want to use them. I'm still sort of really mad at him. <laughs> and I feel like I got a good thing going here between these guys. If I were to use him, though, he'd be an attacker, though, right? He'd basically take Rex's spot, but I want to keep using Rex. I'd probably want to move Nia out over that. That's the thing. So I guess, okay, here's the thought. If I want to keep using Rex, I'd probably move him to be more healing-focused. So that he has Pyra slash Mithra plus two healers, rather than uh, two attackers plus a healer. So I'd make him a healer more along the lines of what I have for Nia at the moment. And if I'm going to take Nia off, I might just move Zenobia over to Zeke then. Hmm. So I guess the logic there would be... Let's use more of these on Rex, basically. <laughs> sure, right? See if I can get more healers. Because I am I think I might have... I'm trying to remember what all I have on him, healer-wise. Hmm. Yeah, nada. I have a total of one healer. Yeah, that, that was my concern there. Again, overdrive particle may, uh, protocol, maybe. Why do I keep saying particle? But still, I have a total of one healer, so I can't really use him in that capacity at the moment. Hmm. Some of these flashes come up as just like blobs and they're never someone. Ugh. Um Well then. Huh? What the I guess I got a healer. <laughs> um, that's not what I was expecting at the very least. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, that is not what I was expecting. Uh huh. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, well, I guess I've got my prerequisites that if I want to use Zeke, I can use them at this point. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to at the moment, but I guess I'm at a point where I can just start, you know, going around and giving everyone a couple of these as I burn through them. Yeah, I keep seeing that fire-looking one in the flashes. I, I thought I already got one that sort of looked like that, but maybe I'm wrong. Nada, by the way. Nada. 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 Here's 
Her head feels too big for her <laughs> The mama bottle, her head feels too big for her body. Okay, I got a healer on a Zig now. That isn't the other one, but at the same time, it's also electric, so sort of a bit more of an overlap than I would have wanted, but okay. Hey, I'm still getting I'm still getting rare plates. <laughs> the very I'm getting so fucking many. <laughs> oh my goodness. See, I never know. Okay, yeah, so, like, sometimes you just know, like, the big, bulky ones are always going to be... Yeah, these guys. Nada? They really should have done it so... And I honestly would not want to test this, basically. They should have made it so that the, um... Uh... What do you want to call it? The... Uh, awakening... If you decide to skip it, it won't skip it if it's a rare blade. And they might do that, but I also don't want to test it, so... Yeah. And I have space again. Okay, one sec. <laughs> Ironically, I only have those three one-stars left. I guess I'll start clearing out the two-stars. I'm probably going to get more two stars anyways by the time I get through all those uh, core, uh, the common ones. Nada, 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 nada. This is going to be fun to edit. Ooh, that was a bit of a different shape maybe. Yeah, different shape. Dum -de -dum, dum -de -dum, dum -dum. Hey, I'm Electra. Zippy, zippy, zappy, blam! <laughs> I don't know how things will turn out. Okay. That's a uh, bit of an odd one. <laughs> Tank! Okay, so it does actually fit Morag a little bit better. HP mod, though. Meh. HP mod. Nah. <laughs> bang, bang, bound. Interesting, though. Erects a barrier that absorbs fixed damage. That's actually pretty interesting. Huh. Counters attacks with 240% ether damage. Oh, that actually doesn't sound all that bad, ultimately. Okay. Not gonna use her at the moment, but I feel like I'm making my way through most... <laughs> I feel like I've probably gotten most of the rare blocks at this point. How many are there in the game? I don't know. Like, I'm not sure if that fire one that pops up, and it's popped up a bunch of times in the uh, preview stuff. Not a... Uh, is a new one, or if it's just uh Or if it's just one that I've gotten and it's using it as a preview anyway. Because I'm pretty sure I got that uh, tank that I have on Rex with the sword. He seemed like he had, like, fire of that nature in his uh, model. Yeah, I keep seeing that. Whatever. Not a... Nada. Well, the last of my rare and legendary ones, so I won't be doing a significant uh, attempt to do awakenings for a while, I imagine. I'm going to try to run through at least some of these common ones, but I'm probably not going to do something... Yeah, this one isn't one. <laughs> we're not going to end on a triumphant hurrah. No, we're not. I'm going to go through the common ones, but I'm almost definitely not going to be commenting about how I keep failing. Uh, oh well. Okay, well, I only have 20 left, so just whatever at this point. Uh, it's not too interesting, just go skip awakening, skip awakening, don't get anything, don't get anything, don't get anything, don't get anything. I think I have a lot of rare blades at this point, though. <laughs> Between, uh... 
Uh, how, how many is it technically? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so 26 rare blades. Plus that uh, vest one that'll be available at some point. And then I'm going to use basically none of them. Yay. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, well. That's probably, fi that's probably a fine enough place to end that set of thoughts for now. Oh. I have extra healers I can move over to him with an overdrive particle. Because the thing is, is like, sure, I got another healer for him, technically. <laughs> technically, but... I don't want to use this character. I don't. I don't. I don't care if she's good either. I just, I don't like the design, personally. Which is honestly a bigger thing to me. Because, like, the reason I want to use all these unique, interesting, uh... Uh, rare blades is because of their designs, much less so anything revolving around their, uh, you know, uh, usefulness. Th that's uh, definitely doesn't hurt, but I, like the interesting designs is more important to me personally.